What is up there everyone, it's the guy from the Gamertag here and today I wanted to talk about equipment in Call of Duty. Now in the background you're going to be seeing some hijacked on Black Ops 2 and it involves one of my favourite ever bits of equipment in Call of Duty and that was the Black Hat. But the reason why I wanted to use this gameplay is because it shows a bit of equipment which for me was very fun to use but also had very easy counterplay and that's one of the things that has a prob been a problem with bits of equipment in recent Call of Duty games. Now of course in COD you're going to always have the simple grenades, they're just sort of your basic bits of equipment, you can just throw them and kill people with them if you get near them. Now the only thing we'll counterplay with that, you've always got the explosive resistance perks but as long as they aren't too overpowered and they don't have a huge blast radius of making them mini nukes that's fine. Which is a problem I always had with C4s is that people could lob them ridiculous distances, that was something in Black Ops 2 mainly, people could throw them almost across the map and they had a huge blast radius and it was just extremely frustrating. Now in Black Ops 3 they've nerfed the C4s a lot but we'll have to see how that really plays out because they have given them a bigger blast radius. And the reason why I was really wanting to make in this video is because I have a few fears for Black Ops 3. And one of those was because in all like the early gameplay videos the people that have gotten to play it early I heard people talking about shock charges and they were one of the most annoying bits of equipment for me. I absolutely hate these things because they just electrocute, you get the and then you just can't do anything. It's like a dog shock collar. You just stand there and you're completely frozen. Tack mask did reduce the effects of it, but you still got the annoying electric effects on your screen. You still couldn't see. It was such an annoying bit of equipment because everyone put those there and then they put a bouncing betty on it. It's like, oh my god, that is the ultimate bit of bitch play. It was just so irritating to go against and it felt like it had very little counterplay because even when you ran tack mask you still got the electric effect which meant you couldn't really see properly and that's the problem the counterplay just wasn't there and the reason why I found the black hat to be so good was it was so much fun and it had the most because you could hack the enemy equipment you could hack balancing betties and shock charges so then if an enemy runs into them it kills them. You'll see that so many times in this gameplay. The majority of my kills come from hacking enemy equipment. I was absolutely laughing my ass off in this game. Just because you'd hack it and you'd just wait a few seconds then you hit <laughs> kill. I think I even got a double kill with someone's betty. And I was just having an absolute laugh in this game because of how much fun the black hat is. And the easy bit of counterplay for it is don't use equipment. That was the key bit of counterplay, or use engineer so that you know when someone has hacked your bit of equipment and it's no longer your teammates. I'm almost certain the amount of people I killed was simply my en the enemy had thrown down a bouncing betty, I'd hacked it and a teammate ran into it. The enemies were probably seriously annoyed at me thinking I was just spamming equipment, but in the fact was I was using their own team's equipment spam against them. And that was why it was so much fun to use, because I was just killing them with their own weapons. And I just found that absolutely hilarious to use. Now of course, equipment isn't going to be the main focus of the game. Equipment is just sort of a side thing, which with the pick 10 system you either can or can't use. You decide whether you're going to use equipment or not. Most of the time I don't use equipment. In like Black Ops 2 and Ghost, I barely use grenades that much. I just prefer to use perks and attachments on my weapons. But equipment really does need the counterplay, and that was problems with the shock charges, the IEDs and ghosts were horrible because the one thing that that game needed for counterplay was a delay trip perk. The, if you had one perk that delayed the trip time on the IEDs, that would have been perfect. The game would have been much better if that had been in the game because you could easily run that and then you wouldn't have the problem of these IEDs which were very difficult to avoid and the problem was that even though they nerfed them a few times decreasing the blast radius and then making it so that when you crouch if you crouched or jumped or went prone it would reduce it so it wouldn't kill you the thing was that at times it wouldn't respond fast enough and you would hit the button but your character wouldn't respond and you'd still die and also most of the time because of the way that people played the game and I thought it was a decent game it was a fun game when people weren't playing like absolute douchebags but it was the fact that once the ID went off, you knew there was a Thermal M27 kid waiting around the corner and they would just walk over to you like the turbo slug they are and just kill you in one shot because you're that weak. And that was the problem, the IDs hadn't got the counterplay. Yeah, you could run Blast Shield, but that was a two-point perk. And when the points mean everything, two points is not a perk you want to be run with. You could easily run Sleight of Hand or Light Aggressively instead of Blast Shield and all it offered you was countering something that was just seriously annoying. I really think they just needed to add a trip detection delay and that would have been fine. But in general I just think equipment needs to be toned down, it needs to have the counterplay so I think when they are developing the games they need to think okay how is a way that 
people who aren't using the equipment can still defend themselves against this because even though because the fact that equipment is a choice to use it some people choose to use it and some people don't the people that don't use it shouldn't be penalized as much i think that there should be enough counterplay so that a good player will know how to react and avoid this bit of equipment but anyway guys i want to hear your thoughts because in my personal opinion the black hat is the best bit of equipment in all of call of duty it was just so much fun to use i had an absolute laugh in this gameplay because i was just killing them constantly with their own teammates equipment spam i think the funniest one was someone threw the black bouncing betty into a door i hacked it and they ran straight into it it was just like noob of the week right there but anyway guys this has been the guy from the gamertag and i'll see you on another video